Trading volume at one of the world's largest cryptocurrency exchanges has plummeted by 40% in three days after it temporarily stopped opening user accounts. South Korea's Bithum Exchange, which suffered a $31 million hack in June, said in a blog post on July 31st that it will suspend the opening of new customer accounts from August. One as it is undergoing a service improvement process regarding so-called virtual customer accounts. While the exchange did not give further details as to the reason for the suspension, a report from Business Korea on Tuesday cited banking industry sources as saying that the exchange was forced to into the suspension because its banking partner, NH Nanghyup Bank, has yet to renew Bithum's contract following the hack. 24-hour trading volume on Bithum was around $350 million on Tuesday, according to archived coin market cap data. Yet, over the past three days, volume has declined to around $200 million as of press time on Friday, reflecting an over 40% drop. The exchange has not responded to Coindesk's request for comment on the trading volume drop and the banking issue. While new accounts are suspended for now, Bithum said that customers who already have identity-linked virtual accounts, effectively, sub-accounts that link individual users back to the exchange's bank account, can still use them for deposit and withdrawal services, the report adds. Bithum reportedly said it has a consensus with non hiap Bank on the renewal of the contract and is planning to iron out our different views on some legal expressions and start issuing virtual accounts soon, should. A final agreement not be reached, Business Korea states that Bithum can still collect service customer deposits and withdrawals through what's called a Hive account, though the option would be far less convenient for users. Alongside the more negative news for the exchange, it also announced Thursday that deposits and withdrawals in 10 cryptocurrencies will be reinstated this coming Saturday, including Bitcoin, BTC, Ether, ETH, and XRP. The platform said the move comes after it had completed security checks and improvements after the June breach. It further noted that, after observing a 10% disparity between prices on Bithum and those on external exchanges, it will delay reinstating services for another batch of cryptocurrencies until prices stabilize. South Korean regulators mandated the use of so-called real-name virtual accounts from the end of January over fears that the anonymous accounts permitted previously provided greater risk of money laundering. Following recent hacks and other issues, the country is also moving to further regulate crypto exchanges with a number of new bills being prepared by lawmakers across the political spectrum. On July 26, an executive at the Financial Services Commission called on politicians to pass a bill regulating cryptocurrency exchanges as soon as possible. Bithum Image via Shuttershock The leader in blockchain news, Coindesk is a media outlet that strives for the highest journalistic standards and abides by a strict set of editorial policies. Coindesk is an independent operating subsidiary of Digital Currency Group, which invests in cryptocurrencies and blockchain startups.